Okay, more multiple alleles, and this one is about the fur color in rabbits. And we've got four different alleles to play with here and a bunch of different ways that they interact. Oh, not a bunch, but there's a hierarchy of this overrides this, overrides this, overrides this. So they summarize all the combinations, and I'll just run through them quick before we get into the actual problem. There are four alleles, and they are big C, which you can think of as the dark gray allele. When it's by itself, it produces dark gray. There is CCH, which produces chinchilla, which gets described as like bluish black or bluish gray. They say if there's any red in it, it's not chinchilla. A, a chinchilla color is a very, very clean, bluish, gray, black color. So no hint of any rust color in it. If it were that, it would, they'd have a different name. Uh, the next one in the chain is H, which they call Himalayan color. C-H. It's not great that you have C-C-C-H and C-H. That's just asking for confusion, but they did it anyway. Uh, Himalayan... which is white and black, typically white body and black on the tips of the ears and the feet, places like that. And finally, there is a CA allele, where A is for albino. Albino means total lack of coloration, which usually means white fur. And sometimes it means some other things like pink eyes, where like where you'd think there would be pigment like blue or brown in the eye iris, there's no color there either. So it's a pretty extreme form of a colorless animal. And sometimes we use it kind of carelessly to just mean a white animal, but in this case they're calling it actually alb albino. And it's the most recessive of all of these. So let's get the genotypes down just to make sure we understand this. Here's all the combinations that you could have. You could have C, the most dominant one, with another C. You could have C with CH, or CCH. You could have C with the Himalayan, or you could have C with the albino. Any of these will be dark gray. Because there's a dominant sequence here, this is dark gray with another dark gray, and all the rest of these are dark gray with who cares what the other thing is. It just gets overridden by the dark gray. So all those are dark gray gray. You can have the chinchilla twice, which gives you a chinchilla rabbit, of course. You can have chinchilla with Himalayan. You can have chinchilla with albino. Now, they say you only get chinchilla if it's homozygous, so I'm actually going to split this line up. Only with the double, with double CCH do you get chinchilla. If you have CCHCH, that produces light gray. They say light gray color is produced when CCH is present with something recessive. So either of these is something that's recessive to CCH. Either of these would be listed as dark gray. Uh, what other combos can we have here? I need to clear that out to create some space. And we'll shrink this a little bit. Okay, so that takes care of the CHs. We can have CH twice. And they say that's Himalayan. And you can also have CH with CA. CA is recessive, so either one of these just means Himalayan. Okay, and because it's totally recessive, the only way you get albino is if you have two copies of it. Okay, so that's every possible rabbit we can have. It's a bit of a complicated list, but 
all that information is in here. It's just a matter of getting it organized. You can write every possible combination of these. Remember, the more dominant one always comes first. And now that we have that, we're probably ready to tackle an actual problem. So let's take a swig and see how it goes. OK, indicate the genotypes and phenotypes of the F1 generation for mating of a heterozygous Himalayan coat. Let's just flip back here. Here's the two ways you can be Himalayan. Double Himalayan, that's what we call the homozygous one. Or the heterozygous is CHCA. All right, so heterozygous Himalayan here means CHCA. and an albino rabbit, which is CACA. Albinos are nice. They're one of the easy ones because if you know a rabbit's albino, that instantly tells you its exact genotype. So if we cross these, this actually isn't going to be too bad. We get a Punnett rectangle. This parent can pass on the CH or the CA. 50% chance either way. This parent only has CAs, so all, that's what all their kids get from them. And so that means the offspring are CHCA and CACA. I put these in order of dominance. The Himalayan is dominant over the albino, and here they're the same allele, so it didn't matter. And that means the offspring are going to be 50% Himalayan and 50% albino. I'll just put 50-50 here, you get the idea.